low volume on Make the phone. Make sure my hairline's still there. You get me? Cause my hairline vanishes sometimes in the light. Hey, you see what Bobby's brought back? Oh, my, oh, hey, blood, Bobby got Bobby, dreads. Bobby, Bobby. But yeah, big up everybody. We're back. Blue tick, serious banter, beautiful. Back in the building after so long. We're here. And we've got the guy with us. He's back. He's on the sofa. You get me? Bugsy, big up yourself. Big up yourself. Big up peoples. Sorry, sorry to leave you in the lurch like I have been. But you're done. No health is the most important thing. Mm. Not even back 100 yet, but you get me. I come mm. to hear something, car. I feel, I feel, I feel like I left you like in the lurch. It's mad long. still. You needed a, you needed a little, at least an explanation of what's been going on and what's happened with me and how my health is and rare, 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 rare and rare, 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 rare. You know, I can't even. So yeah, don't worry. Leave that down to me. I'm gonna make this happen. So yes, myself, Digo. I'm here with you right now, and we're coming to bring this back. We're bringing it back. But yeah, Bugs. Obviously, um, I told the people. Obviously, if you wasn't aware, um, Bugs had some health issues. Um, you get me. He, his body was compromised with this whole health situation. His speech was compromised, and like it, it was like I'm not gonna lie. Now you're out. A man can. You get me? It was like seeing a, a five-year-old delinquent baby in the hospital. Do you understand? Like with man's speech. So you see, for where man's coming from, it's it's like it, it's it's a miracle. Do you bro, get it? Trust me, bro. Mm. Like it's a serious thing, bro. I can't even. I might laugh. You got people might even see me out. They you just won't get the half of it. How serious it is. Even now, my speech ain't perfect. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not talking how I used to talk. Mm. I, don't know, I don't know if it's ever going to come back. I'm just, you get me? I'm here, but I'm, I have to give thanks. Mm. God bless 100%. me. I'm still here. You get me? And I can still do the simple things, but not everything. Mm. So, you know how it goes, man. So, yeah, obviously, the big question was, what, what what's wrong with Pugs? Uh, when is he back? All of this stuff. You get me? A lot of the questions I can't answer. Like, it got so bad, yeah, when I was going to places, yeah. You see, when I knew that you could start talking back again, yeah. when they were asking me, I was diverting them back to you. Uh, yeah, message him or phone him. <laughs> you can chat now. <laughs> man telling me, yeah, message him. You just ain't responding. You get me? saying? No, you know what? You get first me. things first. Yeah. First things first. Let me say this, yeah. Thank you and big up. Seriously, emotional, heartfelt stuff. You get me? Throughout this illness, I had mad support from the blue like overwhelmed by it i didn't expect it i didn't expect that much oh, it just showed me that it's bad but when bad things happen the borough can come together yeah you get what i'm definitely saying did. but they need to do it on a on an everyday basis mm -hmm. rather than in, waiting in, until a man yeah you get me in badness and in sickness or whatever so i have to big up everyone there's too many messages some people are uh, sorry i didn't respond to your messages but i had so much on everything instagram snap WhatsApp, blood, it was just Wild. and I was and I and remember when I'm getting all of these, my brain's not working properly, I'm sick. So I mean sometimes I'm I'm seeing them and I'm looking at it and I'm saying, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will respond, but Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. not happening. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm no disrespect to no one. And if you did message me and I didn't message you, I beg you message me now, please, because I'll message you back. You get what I'm saying? Like and show appreciation for even the message car couple of things have come to light in this, you know, in your darkest time, things come to light, you get me? Mm. And that, and that's, and we'll leave it, we'll leave that right there. But now we'll elaborate on that at some you get point. But, um, differently, when it comes to this whole thing, yeah, um, what I will say to you is, are they 100% sure of what's going on no, right now? No, at no time. I have okay. no, listen, before we even, before we even break down what happens, I'm just going to keep it. 100% real. I'm about to break down something I don't know. I have no, I have no faith. Well, they got me back. I can't say I have no faith because they got me back here. You get what I'm saying? They, they, from where I was to where I am, they got me there. You get what I'm saying? But in regards of them knowing anything or 
knowing how to treat it. It's they're giving me bullshit stories. Man's telling me, ah, oh, it. We don't know what it is, but it's not gonna happen again. Hundred percent. How dealing with you like your car? How if you don't know what it is? Mm-hmm. If you don't know something, and you don't know why my body reacted like that. How, How you told yourself? me that my body's not going to react like that again? So that, that so that 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 doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, but I'm still going through it. I'm still going tests. I've been hospital twice this week. I got hospital again on Monday. Blood. I just feel like an old cripple. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to mm. put it. I'm going to put it how it really is, isn't it? Mm. Like, man feels like man's gone from man's gone from a healthy middle aged young man to. An old 70 year old taking how much tablets a day. That's mad. Kind of man, you get what mm. I'm saying? That's what's really that's what's really going on in my life, you get me? The drill. That I, just because you see me out smiling and laughing. You see one thing I need to ask you though, yeah, and I need to say, yeah, because I've elaborated on this shit. You see, at the time that this happened to you, right? Mm-hmm. You was fully awake, right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. So you was up, you was doing your thing, and it happened right. in the middle. All right, of, I'll break it down to you. Mm. I'll break it down to you. It happened, let's say, it was, it was a Monday. I'm going to show you exactly what happened. On the Monday, I woke up, right? I was cool. I was cool, um, talking. I was having a bit of problems. I was having minute problems with my speech, but nothing to worry about. You mm. get what I'm saying? I thought I was talking a bit funny. I, just thought, I thought I was tired or something. Mm. Nothing that you would think that your body is... You wouldn't, you wouldn't think it's out of the ordinary. Mm. So then then at 12.30, I started having a mare with my speech. An absolute nightmare. I couldn't I couldn't talk properly. I was having a madness. Like I'm, I'm saying to man, I'm talking to man, I'm saying to man, hey, blood, can you hear me speak? And man's saying, yeah, yeah, you're having a bit of a mare still. So I was a bit worried. I was a bit worried. I weren't, I weren't too worried. Because you know how man stay? Man's, man's of that mind like, we're like old men, innit? Like, we'll walk it off. Yeah, man's going to sleep it off and all mm. of that stuff there. I'll be all right, you get me? But then by quarter past one, I was having a madness. You get me? I was having an absolute madness. And my girl was telling me, uh, at quarter past one, I spoke to my girl. She was telling me to go hospital. She was telling me to She was telling me to go hospital and all of that. And, and, and yeah, you didn't? I didn't. I said, mm. I didn't. I said, all right, hey, what I'm going to do to, to keep you happy, I'm going to phone 111. Now, this is where the fuckery starts. Because I phoned 111 with my symptoms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, my symptoms my symptoms were that of a stroke. But 111 told me to um, chill out, <laughs> relax, go to bed, get up in the morning and call your doctor. That's what they told me to do. Mad. Now this is now this is what they told me to do. So my my girl was my girl was dumb worried, innit? You know, like to the point of she's dumb worried, but I'm I'm on the bad man thing, like, cool man, I'm going to sleep, man. Just relax. I'll be alright. I'll be good in the morning. Mm. You get me? So whole day, whole day I'm in the yard. Just just mad, just mash up, innit? I'm in the yard, innit? Boom. I've slept. I've woke up. It's even worse now. I can't move my right side. My hand's not moving. I can't, my balance is off. If I stand up, I'm dropping over. If I lean to the right, it's just gone. I'm gone. So, boom, she's come around in the morning. Straight away. She's not a no long thing. Call me an ambulance. Boom, bam. You get me? Ambulance man's arrived. Now, when the ambulance man's arrived, he's saying, how long you been like this? Saying since yesterday, saying so. Why didn't you call us yesterday? Because one more one never told me to. Mad. He's saying the ambulance man is saying that's mad. We can't even take you on the blue light to the hospital because it's been a certain amount of hours, which is crazy. Cause remember all this time now, they're thinking I've had a stroke. They my face is my face is drooping. My face is still drooping now. Mm-hmm. If you look properly, mm-hmm. you, you get me. My face has changed. I'm literally, I literally cannot talk. Like I'm talking like uh, 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 I'm having a madness. Mm-hmm. Can't move, can't move none of my right side. So they they think that I've had a stroke in it. So he's saying one 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 told you what? That's a madness. You get me? Why would they not tell you to phone the ambulance? Till this day, we'll never know. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so 
So um Dave Dave then took me to the Dave then took me to the hospital. Now nah, they took me to the hospital. Now nah, everybody's initial 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 analysis of my situation stroke. is I've had a stroke. Mm-hmm. So they kept they've kept me in overnight. And I tell you no lie, this is this is where I know hospitals hospitals fuck because mm. they think I've got a stroke. So now what they're saying is we're just gonna keep you in overnight and kick you out with some aspirin for a stroke. Cause it, cause obviously it's I don't know. I, I can't even say obviously because I'm talking like I know. I do not know. I'm just saying I'm assuming that they they think it's a minor stroke. Give me some aspirin to thin my blood, and I'll be good. So I've stayed in. I've stayed in overnight. They've kicked me out the next evening with aspirin and whatever and whatever. Then I've gone. Then I've gone home in it. Mm. Gone back home. Woke up in the next. I woke up the next morning. They phoned me again. The hospital phoned me straight back like, "Yo, big man, you need to come back down here." Mad. You get me? Like you have you have to come back down here. We it's not a stroke. We need you back here. Mm. So I'm saying I'm saying all right. They're giving man a little panic now in it, car. Man saying raw, walk on. Like what's wrong with me? What's what's, what's going on? Mm. Anyway, got got to the got to the hospital. They ain't got no bed for me. They've got me sitting in A and E for the whole day. Got me sitting. In, got me sitting in this. Got me sitting in this madness. For the whole day, I'm just sitting in A and E like any other person. Mad. They tell I'm getting I'm getting mad now. I'm saying, why am I here? I might as well go home. I can go my I can rest at my yard. At least at my yard there's a bed. You can phone me and tell me when to come when you've got a bed for mm-hmm. me. Because I can relax. No, you can't leave. We don't know what's going on. Obviously, my girl's panicking. Don't leave. Da, 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 da. So so man's just so I'm chilling in it. I've mm. had to I've had to bite my pride mm. and just take it in. So. That day, remember, I went to the hospital about, I got to the hospital about half 11, 12 o'clock. I didn't get a bed till half 11, 12 o'clock. Fuck, you know, full 12 hours. Yeah, you get me, in the A&E. Not, like, don't, I'm not on a ward. I'm seeing all these mad people. When I'm in there, there's one woman saying that the security guard tried to rape her. There's mad, blood. This guy you, see, you see King's College A&E? Mm. But mad this place. They got a show on it. Matt, listen, I've be, I've been in the hospital, hmm. uh, a lot of hospitals. King's College A and E is a madness, mm. absolute nuts. There's all one woman. They got her locked in the room. Security standing out of the room like she's in jail. It's all mad in there. I'm yeah. it's, I'm sitting there like raw man, this sick is... and man can't even move and talk. I can't even cuss nothing. I can't do nothing. Mm, that's mad. I just can't do nothing. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. That's gone on now. Then they found me. They found me a um, a, a bed. I've gone to the ward, but now the next issue now is because they gave me aspirins, and that's blood thinning in the test. What they need to do, they oh, can't. They can't do until the aspirins yeah, 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 have worn yeah. off. You get me? How long does it take for the aspirin to wear? Five right? days. Wow. So basically, for five days in the hospital, I'm literally doing nothing. I'm just in the hospital, getting mm. getting my getting my blood pressure tested and and my temperature. They're just sticking a thermometer and checking my blood pressure for five days solid. Before before anything happened, I was in there for five days because they had to get the um, aspirin out of my system. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? So then, no, no. Tell a lie, tell a lie. After three days, they done a they done a scan on my brain. Mm. That's when I found out that I had swelling on the brain. Mm. They found some swelling on the left side of my brain, which controls your right side, isn't it? Because mm-hmm. your brain works opposite. Mm-hmm. It works in mm-hmm. opposites. So I had swelling on the left side of my brain that was blocking all the signals for me to do everything. That's why I couldn't talk, why I couldn't move my arm, my leg. Mm-hmm. That's why my right side was basically paralyzed because mm-hmm. I had I had swelling on the brain. So, um, so I'm 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 in there. You know how it goes, man. Man's stressed. Man's getting pissed off. Man wants to do. Man just wants to be normal. Hundred. You know, like. But I knew. I knew it was pissing you off, bro. Obviously, you're, you're just on a ward with with just bare old people. You get me. You're obviously on your own. Yeah, and, is, and you know what I got to do as well. This is I got to keep everybody around me spirits up. Mm, so, so as much as I'm sick. I still got to keep everybody up because mm. I can't let everybody go down because mm. I'll go down. Yeah, 100%. So I, everybody's talking to me. 
I'm not even gonna lie to you, blood. I was shit scared. Mm, Hundred. Sh- shit in my pants, thinking, what if I can't talk again? What if I can't walk Look again? Hundred. Like this, am I gonna be like, uh, for my, and I'm not even taking a piss out of no one, but that's how I was talking. Am I gonna be like, uh, for the rest of my life? Mm. This is a madness. You get 100%. what I'm saying? So, but obviously, man's fronting in it. Man's fronting to everybody. Yo, man's got this, man. I'm good. I'm gonna be good. You, True, you don't know, but mm. when everybody's gone home, I'm in the hospital petrified. No word of a lie. How scared was you when they told you they had to do a lumbar puncture on you? Because I didn't understand. See, See we're gonna get right to that. that. See, we're gonna get to that. See, we're gonna get to that. This is, <laughs> we have, we're gonna get. Most of these people won't know what a lumbar puncture that, is. 100%. You get what I'm saying? So we're gonna get to that. So I'm petrified. Remember, there's bare things they're saying it could possibly be. They're saying I could have MS. I could have cancer. I could have leukemia. I could have some other stuff on the brain. Like, so I'm I'm just processing everything in it. I'm taking in everything. Like, I'm dying to do the test just to just to write things off. Like, let me get the hard. Oh, need to do the test. I need to. I need to do the test. I need to rule that out and rule that out and rule that out. Because see the MS thing. That is that is one scary thing. You get me? Mm-hmm. Like, one a man who's the same age as me, my brethren. Fit, he's got that, and I've seen what MS can do. I've seen what MS does. MS is 100. not MS is not, not a joke. That that's it's not no joke. You get me? So then they they did scans, took some bloods and whatever and whatever, saying nothing's not too irregular. So air what now? We have to do a lumbar puncture. You get me? So man saying raw. What's a lumbar puncture? For those that don't know, a lumbar puncture. Check, 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 a lumbar puncture check, check, is where they, where they take your brain fluid from your spine. Mad. So they get what's in your brain out your spine. Mad. And you're not asleep. You're not none of that. They give you a bit of anesthetic and you're awake. You get me? Yo, you're awake. This is one of the most, this was one of the most traumatic things I went through. Because basically there's a man told me to bend over and hold my knees. You get me? Some some madman thing. Man said to a man a man said to a man. Is that the only way you could do this? <laughs> a man said to a man, lie on your side, bend over and, and hold your knees. Mm-hmm. You get me? Tuck your knees into your chest and hold them. Mm-hmm. And he was at my back. Why for that? <laughs> it's not even funny. It's traumatic still. Nah, it's, it's traumatic, it's blood. It's, tra- trauma in your it's face. traumatic I still, see. blood. It's not a joke, you get me? <clears throat> so then I didn't even, I'd, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I only saw the needle in the tray. So some big off needle, some big off needle about so big. You get me? Um, and they push it in your back and take your brain fluid out your spine. Like your brain fluid, like fluid from your brain. They take, that it, out, they take that, it out at the bottom of your back. Fluid, what does that fluid look like? Clear like, clear like, clear like the cleanest water you've ever seen. Mad. Like the cleanest water you have ever seen. Like when I saw it, it was like I was looking through nothing. There was nothing there. I was just looking through the fluid. I was like, shit. But blood, that is one painful thing. Mm. And you can, you know how, you know how local, you know how anesthetic works. Mm. Like obviously it numbs up the place, but you can feel it. Like you can feel it. I felt them push. I felt man push things in my spine. I was on my back like, oh, I'm saying to the brother, oh, 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 oh. Oh, you yeah. get me? And the brother's just like, oh, I'll move it a little bit. And then you feel it move and you're like, oh. Then they just took, they took about that much of my brain fluid in a syringe. Took like about a miniature bottle. Yeah, took it. Took, Mad. Took about that much of my brain fluid. You get me? So then after that, now nah, that's when they, that's when they start doing proper tests on, tests on me and thing. Remember, I remember I'm seeing the specialist. I'm seeing the specialist in the hospital. Cause King's supposed to be the best hospital for neurology. For that. Mm. Yeah. So they're coming and seeing me. They're all saying we don't know yet. It's a myth. Like yours is one of them rare cases, rare, rare, rare. So then after they've done a lung puncture, about two days after, they've come to me and said, Oh yeah, you got swelling on your brain. Um, we're gonna start you on a course of steroids. That's why you see me looking all mad like this, like I just come out of the madass, you get me? <laughs> Don't laugh, man. <laughs> this is why this is why I'm looking like that. Looking like the Stay Puff Marshmallow man and all them things there, because I'm on steroids. You get me? So they've come 
um, um, they've 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 obviously showed me the swelling on my brain. I've seen it. They said, "Yeah, we're gonna put you on steroids that will deal with it." So, bearing in mind, I'd been in there a whole. I'd been in there a week and nothing ever happened. And then the following week, they started to do treatments. So, um, I I started I started on the steroids. Stero- I'm not gonna lie. I took them through the drip first. Steroids. What they they started working the same day through the drip. I could um, my speech started to improve. You could feel the difference. Yeah, I could feel it. I, I'm not gonna lie. I could straight away about after about I was they was giving me the drip every morning at eight o'clock for an hour. So the first morning they gave it to me, um, I'd say by by four o'clock, I I started to notice that I was finding it easier to pronounce words and do certain things. You get me? So I'm mm. saying, raw. That's a good thing. You get me? That's a really good thing, but it's not. Steroids are bad. But anyway. It's mad. It's a... It's, and have you been... Obviously, they give you your stomach lining things that you've got to take yeah, with you've it. Yeah, you've got to take with it because if you don't, it would ruin mess you. you up. It will mess you up still. So they give us them. Blood, I've got... If you see my tray of tablets and things I've got to take for my bones... NHS my, junkie. My, that's what... That's, my, that's, I've got that's, about... That's his new name. I'm on about... Nine tablets a day, and that's you being weaned down, right? When I've you first started, when how I first, much was you on? When I first started, just, 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 just the um, steroids alone, I was on 10, 10 steroids alone. I had to take 10, 10 steroid tablets, take the one for my belly, the one for my bones, and the one for my bladders. Mm-mm. So uh, I was around, I was at around sixteen, mm-hmm. around sixteen That's every day. Mad. You get me, and I'm weaned down. And right now, uh, this is the lowest. This is since this has happened. Mm. This is the least amount of medication that I've been on, and it's still enough. You get what I'm saying? So crazy. So it's a madness. And then, obviously, I've got, I've got better. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm not, I'm not even. I'm still not 100 percent yet, but I'm getting better. I've, I've. In in the hospital, I'm giving them bear problems, and you know me. Mm. Once I start move, I can. Where yeah, I'm arguing now, I got mouth for them. Shut up! What I want food? Where where where? I'm talking about <laughs> man want his food. You get me? Where's the apple crumble? You lot got me used to apple crumble. You give me apple crumble every day. I want apple crumble. Yeah. You know them ones there. Hey, what was the worst meal you had in there? All the chicken. Uh, man, Every kind of chicken. Like a prison type thing. It, worse than prison. Prison food's better than hospital. Wow. Pri- prison, listen, they get, they, I ordered some peri peri chicken. <laughs> Silly guy. Peri peri chicken <laughs> with potato wedges. I don't know why I did that. I ordered roast chicken. Blood, food was mad. Mm. I'd rather just eat fruit. It's and mad. Don't. You get me? Hospital food is crazy still. Fruit and the smell of it. Fruit and apple crumble. You get what I'm saying? The smell of it. That was man's food. living and a cheese sandwich in the morning. Mm. That was that was man's thing. So now, now they quick they discharge me. They just uh, once once they see I'm moving about and all of that, they kick me out of the hospital and then I'm back home. But um, I'm still not hundred and I still don't even now. You don't we feel still don't know. I, I don't feel a hundred. We still don't know what it is. So how do you deal with it? You get what I'm saying? Like what 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 I realized with the hospital is, if it ain't in the book that they're learning from, they don't know nothing. One million. They know as much as me and you. Mm-hmm. And you must probably know more than them because, about your body because right. it's your body. So this is this is what I've come to realize with them. They they do. They're like the mechanics. You know a bad mechanic who says, I think it's that, and I think it's that, and I think it's that. Mm. But here what we do, we get rid of that one, then we know it's not that. <laughs> then we get rid of that one, then we know it's not that. <laughs> That's what they do. That they cost you a mad blood. Yes. This yeah. is what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I've seen it firsthand. You get me like, if you got the money to go private. Definitely. If you got the money to go private, because NHS, I don't even want to diss them because they got me back here. But it ain't good for you. Mm. It's not good for you. I'm not I'm not knocking them, but I, I feel like, how can I have a neurodegenerative specialist of how many years 
And he's telling me that he's never come across nothing like this before. Then it's I'm a, then I'm a one in a million. Exactly. And this is, what, all right, this is why, you see, when they come and tell people about abnormal cells, bro, like I take that thing very serious because I will say to myself, there's millions of people in the, in the world. Do you get me? There's only so much cases these, these people have seen and there's going to be cases of cells that they do not recognise. They haven't seen before. But you see, the moment they tell you that they don't recognise these cells, they automatically put it down to cancer. You see, once they start telling you this stuff, it's it's them telling you that that's gonna kill you. Do you get on trying to say? So it's yeah. It's, this is it's, this is this different. is different. This is Google doctors, this, isn't it? Yeah, blood. Mm. It's not it's not a joke. Mm. I swear, I see a man who go in his phone in front of me. Mm, you understand? There was about five of them in front of me on my bed in my bed, and I swear I see a man go in his phone and look at something. And then come back to me like, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> That's what's going on. Google said this. You see this. what I'm saying? Because, mm. it's, 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 no, it's, think about it. They, everybody goes to, you go school or whatever, whatever. Whatever you don't learn that's in that book, you don't know. It's that simple. They're humans like us. If they, Things are going to be missed. Things are going to be missed. Mm. Definitely. You get what I'm saying? The, the, the NHS, clap for the NHS. Yeah, because they do a great job. Mm-hmm. But it's 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 not you can't put all your faith in them doctors in no that way. Can you see the, the the effects of them being understaffed in the hospital while you was there? Yeah. Yeah. You can see. Can you see the difference yeah. in the NHS now? Yeah, yeah. Than maybe yeah. when you was growing up, because yeah. you've had previous uh, yeah, yeah, situations been... where you've had to spend time in yeah, hospital. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ha- has this been the the the, the worst? Time? You know what? You know what I had about? You know what I had about? I had three different beds. So I got moved three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get me? Mad. I was in one place. Then they, I was, I, I remember one place I was, they gave me one bum room. One bad boy room, you know. I, I wanted to hold that. <laughs> I want, nah, seriously, I wanted to hold it like mm. a hotel room, you get me? Mm. Tell the TV on the wall, remote, blood. I was there for one night. They come, they come. <laughs> <laughs> they come Man. back for me the next day and move me move me to a ward with the old people walking in like where the fuck's my bridge like, I, I, I don't belong here they like where's my Blood. guy like i just saw i looked and they said yeah bed 17 i just saw old people 70 year old 70 year old 70 year old with these with these balls just hanging up <laughs> 70 year old 70 year old just just fucking moaning about it. So, and it was just all the way and then they put my bridge in right in you know <laughs> say no nah, my bridge now run the block still blood can you see wait when you talk them have to listen blood me, me yeah see them old people they're fucking yeah man. different I had to bat up one of the old man them even when I couldn't talk. Uh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Idiot. He's complaining. Imagine I'm in the bed, mash yeah. up. Yeah. But I'm I'm watching the iPad. Mm. I can just hear this brother complaining about me. Oh, he needs to be quiet and re- blood. But I can't talk, can I? <laughs> <laughs> so I can't even run up my mouth how I want. Yeah. But hear me. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Nah, yeah, you get yeah, me. I'm trying to yeah, run up my mouth. Yeah, I still yeah. got the spirit. Yeah, come on, hundred. I can't do the action, but yeah. I got the spirit. I'm saying, yeah. Hey, what the you nurses say? will you come. You can take the voice out of the man, <laughs> but you can't take the man out. Of the... <laughs> I, I get it. So, so I get it. I'm having a madness there, and then you know, like it got to a stage where the man was visiting you and taking you downstairs. Yeah, just just come out. Yeah, just come out because we be sneaking that. Like, hey, what? When she turns her back, two more walking behind it, and it just got too much. Like, and just filling up. Uh, this your is what I'm saying. Yeah. I got, I got, a, I got. A, I'm a lucky. Uh, you know what? Big up all my, all my. I'm not even calling my my friends, my family. You get me? Big up, big up the ones who was with come me on. through this. You get me? The ones who was there, the ones who who actually did the hospital sentence mm. with me. You feel what I'm saying? I don't. I don't. It wanna, was a sentence. Still, it was a hospital it is a sentence. sentence. I don't. When you check it. I don't want to say no names. Everybody knows who they are. You know if you was there. Mm. I got. You, I got you until the day I die. You what about me? the ones that weren't? Oh. What about the ones that weren't? This revealed. This revealed. You know what? Some people are kind of like say me and them is family and rare. You never even text me on my deathbed. Oh. Not even a text message. You know. Wicked. Not even a. Like just to say, yo, bugs. I heard what I go on. Just let me know you're good. That's it. I don't want. I don't. I don't think. There's people who message me for you though. So if it's any of them ones, you lot know who you are. It's not. He ain't talking about you lot. It's the ones that didn't even message me to get to him. To you understand? No, man. This is. I was messaging people to 
Remember, it was just, is, it was just, they feel you're dead. Sanka, you're dead. <laughs> Blood. You think it's a job. No. Blood, that's exactly man what was hard. coming to you. No, under, man's but, not, man's not, you know what? Look, you got, bucked in, you got bucked in Sainsbury's. Yeah, I know. The person thought you was dead or going to die. It's not a joke. Or, or never thought they were going to see you back how you was going to be. You get me? I know, I know. It's a serious they, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you get the exaggerators. No, but you see Because what? the exaggerator might say now, see but, when they come out and they'll be like, oh, it has been with like, blood is far like, do you understand me? Yeah, blood. Let me say, you know what? I'm going to, I'm actually going to mention this brother's name because he said something to me that was so... That was that gave me so much strength while I was in hospital. I hypes, big up yourself, my brother. I have to big you up because because what you told me. Check check check, me check, 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 check. My brethren said to me. He 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 told me that he was never worried about me because he knows how I am, and he seen me already face death. He seen me look death in the face before, and say, "Nah, you can't beat me." Mm. You get me? I'm not going to say who else was in that situation at that time. They mm -hmm. weren't even facing death and they were defeated. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm not even going to say the name. But Hyper, you don't know how much that little piece, what you said to me about, I know you, Bugs. I've seen you before. I, I saw you look death in your face and you stood up to it. Mm -hmm. I don't, you don't even know how much strength, strength that gave you. That gave a man. Like, in that moment, like, when he said it, I was like, Raw, you know what? It's real. Mm -hmm. Man has really faced. I faced death before. Mm -hmm. My insides was out. So hundred. But you see this though. It's like see with them deaths there. You see, like your that's brother, brought up yeah. on yourself. No, it's not brought up on yourself. But there's even someone to blame or even someone to ride against. Yeah. See, if yeah, the man yeah. him lost you, the man him would have had something to write. To be against. angry at, to okay. focus their anger. The man him has nothing, no one, your loved ones, no one has nothing to ride against. Do you get me? And all it does is leave everyone else now in a, in a scared position and on the edge. And you get me? Because they're now thinking about their health. You know what? Do you get what I'm trying to the say? One, the one thing I'm going to say to everybody is, I hope everybody can use me as an example. Like, especially my generation, we're not as young as we think we are. We like to think that we're young, 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 but we're really getting old. We need to start looking about ourselves. All that, all that abuse that we did as kids, because let's be honest, we all abuse our bodies, drinking, drinking every week till we can't see, smoking beer, weed, smoking fags, fast food, whatever. We've all abused our bodies. You get me? There's you, And you know what the funniest, maddest, the biggest quote that I had while I was in hospital is, Take care of your body. You've only got one, one place to live. Uh, that's a real. That's a real, real. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter about your spirit. As as strong as fire your spirit is, once your body just says I'm done, it's the done. Fight's gone. Mm. No doubt your energy is gonna carry on and move on. Mm -hmm. But in this in this year, this dunya yasa, you're done. Andre. If your body says I'm, I'm packing it in. Yeah. yeah there's yeah. nothing you yeah, can yeah, do. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you, the one thing that I wish for the most while I was in hospital is just, just be normal. Mm. All, all these things, all these things what man crave every day, like, yeah, man's going to get up, bear bread and rare, rare, do certain things. And I didn't give a fuck about none of that shit. 100. Nothing, none of that shit matters to me. All I wanted to do was be normal. Mm. Definitely. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And right now, I'm not even going to lie, I'm having to live with a little new norm because I can't do... I'm not as strong, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not myself. Even now, I'm, not, I'm still not myself. That's mm. why it's took me so long to come out and even get on this podcast because I, I didn't want to come in here and talk and make myself look all funny and weak and rare, rare, rare. Because you know what, man? Man's still a man. 100. Man don't want to come on here looking weak and, and soft and rare, rare. Man, like... Got it's, me pushing you. Yeah, you get me. You get me? Putting you there like, yeah, come now. I'm, drib I'm dribbling down nothing to wipe my lip. Yeah, come Put the cloth to my mouth. And come box. I'm not on nah, that. Nah, and it's real talk. And it's not, we're not even taking a piss, but it could have gone that way. And it's only like, it's only the grace of God why it didn't go that way. So it's not even no, no fun and joke, but we're talking about what could have happened. Yeah. You get me? What could have happened. Mm. Listen, seriously, the blessing that's come out of this is I don't smoke no more. 
I haven't had a drink. I haven't had a haircut. <laughs> 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 That's not the blessing. But yeah, I don't smoke and I don't drink. Mm. So I'm 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 trying to get healthy. But I'll be honest with you, right now I can't even go to the gym. It's like That's... I wanna go gym, but my hands my hand, bad. At any moment, my hand could just start doing. It's like I got to. It's people. like I got Tourette's in my might hand. Just start slapping yeah, people. Yeah, it's like I got Tourette's in my hand. My hand just might start. <laughs> oh, that. spazzing! Oh, you pussy! <laughs> you get what I'm saying? If I could ever show you saw the bruise, I just showed yeah, you the mad, bruise. Yeah, mad, mad. I just showed you. You the know bruise. what that looks like? You got cupping. Uh, you know how yeah, your yeah. body's left like, after? Yeah, yeah. Basically, so basically, I'm still suffering from this thing. I'm I'm not at the woods. I was in the shower the other day. Just got dizzy and fell over. Bam. Mashed up myself. And I tell you something now, if you've ever fell on your armpit, you, you why how do you fall on your armpit? <laughs> <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Like, how do you fall on your armpit? Like, man, if you could see underneath my arm, I think I got a video. If I got a video, that's like a man saying, I fell on my eyelash. No, I swear I got a video in my phone. I if fell on my eyelash. Yeah, you fell on your eyelash and blinked. <laughs> I'm blinked. Oh shit! Like it's it's nuts, bro. <laughs> it's nuts. It's nuts. Yeah. I swear, I got the. I got. The, I, if the way there, I'm just gonna check well, if. Boy. I'm just gonna check because if there's a video there, I'm gonna I'm gonna make Dan put it in. That is mad. I'll show you the thing. You get me? Yeah. Like look. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm still I'm still suffering now. I tell you what, it's. it's this is the hardest time. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought the hospital was hard, but life don't stop. Hundred percent. Bills still have to pay. Bills still have to People pay. Still Money still have to wait. You see when you're People signing them forms expect. now, it's bare it's, forty-two to fifty-five. Now you're that. I'm that. not forty-two, blood. Yeah, but yourself. that's your next. Yeah, the, yeah, that's next. That's the next bracket. Do you get it? It's, it's, and I'm not saying it in a funny way. No, that's way. the truth. There's joke in it, but it's that's it's the man's truth. coming. That's the next semester. That's the truth. You get what I'm uh, saying? I just want everybody, I want all my people, like any man that's 40, get your wellness check. Try and get yourself checked. I'm, I'm not even allowed, I've been speaking to a couple of the man them. A couple of the man them have had fingers in their bum because they're getting their prostate checked. Mm. I used to think that was all a wire for that and rare, 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 but what? You'd rather die or have a finger in your bum for a man to check your prostate. And also an ignorant oh, man. Oh, so you are man that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and when the cancer licks him, he'll start talking. Why? Why am I not? Why am I not? Just making such a pushing finger. I'm not pushing all the way up there, you know. It should have in there feel around. Yeah, but health, bruv. You know, we take this thing for granted, and I'm telling you, yeah. Within forty-five minutes, it was gone. Things changed. It was gone. Like fuck, it was all good a week ago. It was all good 45 minutes ago. 100%. Mad. And then, and, and, and I'm, I'm not being, I was a cripple. It took mm -hmm. me 45 minutes to go from an able-bodied man to a cripple. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. You get what I'm saying? And, I, and I've had to learn, the one thing that I've learned, don't ignore your body. Don't, if your body's telling you something, don't ignore it. No, all of us do it. Definitely. All, all of us do it. Every man, Overlook you get, it. you are oh, not come. What is that? Oh, I'll be all right. Every man does it. Mm. Don't do that, bro. Mm. Your body's letting you know there's something. But this why you can't trust them mm. not, no, car. You, your body might give you a little sniggles. This is why it's good to also know your body. Because your body might give you a little sniggles, yeah? Now, there's certain people that run to the doctors for everything. No, you can't run to them yeah? for everything. Now, you see, when you come now and you say, ah, oh, doctor, rare, 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 you might say, boom, the doctor does Google. Google comes up with cheating. So one of them things is most likely cancer. Yeah, everything's cancer. And this is why you can't trust them because they're misdiagnosing people also. Yeah. Do you get me? It is. And wicked. this is why you're saying to yourself, you prefer to go through it at home and ride it out for longer than go yeah, in there and they give what? you a medication, tell you you got something you ain't got and then that kills you quicker. You know the one thing I'll say to a man? Mm -hmm. Like, even a woman, just a human, we all know our bodies. We know our bodies better than anybody else. You know when you're You fucked. know when something is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, because even it will play on your mind. If you get a mind a nibble and you say, oh, yeah, it won't but play you know on your, your mind. That, like, ah. But you know... And you're fighting it and you're saying, no, nah, it's mad. I need them. 
They yeah. saying, you throw the dots in the morning, like, I can't make it till the morning. I need to see someone now. <laughs> now, you get me? I don't, you see me? After my experience with 111, I'll never phone him again. You just go down. Never phone him again. 100%. For what? You would have left me in my yard to dead. Like, literally. Like, man's got, man's got a deep what the thing is, yeah? I had swelling on my brain. It wasn't no joke. It was, bruv, I had the top, top neurology man in, in the hospital coming mm. to see me every day. Mm. Like, it was a serious thing. And they just told me to go home. Phone the doctors in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy. You couldn't, you can't, you couldn't you make could, this no, shit. you couldn't. You really, really couldn't. And then it actually, it leaves you to ask the question, are they that cold about, about this thing? Is it? <sighs> yes, the, you know, what the one thing it? that I will say, the system is stressed. It's struggling. Through, through the cutbacks and all of that, it's, it's, they're struggling, you get what I'm saying? But at the same time, you're there to, to do a job and provide a service. So you got to be doing it A1. Brother, see when you was in the hospital, my cousin here, she might don't know what was wrong with her, but she had some stomach thing. Yeah. She was at mine, I've had to phone the ambulance, you get me? Mm. The ambulance basically told me, listen, we ain't got no ambulances right now. Yeah. I said, what? They're like, yeah, you're going to have to take her. I said, what? Well, we can't drive. They said, you're going to have to put her in a cab. We, are, we have no ambulance to send to you. Couldn't believe what they were telling me, brother. They were running like a cab station. They're like cab station. We ain't yeah. got no cars. Yeah. I say yeah. for how long they like, we just ain't got no, no, no. You get me? I'm saying this is nuts. I've ended up having to take her hospital, bro, because I thought she was dead in. Yeah, man. It's, it's sad times, you get me? I'm not even lying. If you got money and can get out of this country, I suggest you do it. 100. One I, I fast suggest, as well. I suggest you do it. If fast you, as well. If you got money and you can get out of here, I mean, a lot's happened since we were last on, though. Get out of here. What's happened since we were last on? <sighs> there's been the about, queen. There's been about eight prime ministers. The queen. <laughs> the, yeah, the queen. Then um, married at first sight. That was a sick show. Liz Truss come and gone. Sunak day off a stay. Rishi. Have you seen that video of him in Ibiza? No. Doing up Ibiza. Yeah, cause he's a M. He's got M's. He's yeah, M, doing an IB for like moving like a proper he, little. He's not. He's not worried about none of that. We've had a new king. Yeah. Mm, what else Bro, has we got, Oh yeah, we got King Charles the Third. Blood things have been going nah, on, you know. Some sh you know what? Man? Oh mate, man's been out of commission for Trust a me, some shits really happened. Tricky did he show at the O2 with Dame Dash? Yeah. <laughs> Big things. Big things are going on. Blood. There's a lot going on. Yeah, the Kanye's. Kanye's being cancelled. Kanye's gone on a rant. He's but he's making you know, so you can't cancel me. No, nah, but he's being cancelled. No, nah, but here what? He, he, he's, he's been, still alright. He, where, where? So, he's, brother, nah, how? They said, like... He see, was Kanye wait, before can we, he was can easy. Can we finish off my thing before okay, we even cool, cool. dwell on to that there? Yeah, so... Cool. So, boom, now, in regards to... This is... In regards to... It's good, though. I went through hard times. Cause it revealed a lot of a lot of shadiness. Some people didn't like me, but they was acting like they did. And praying for you for dead. You know that. Like this. Some, pe heard some like people this. was only asking. No, 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 some people was only asking. To hear what's going on with Bugsy? To hear, to hear, to hear to a man say, say yo, he's dead. dead. <laughs> Wicked. Wicked black community. <laughs> Oh. Why are you black people so angry? The wicked black community. <laughs> and they say that to white people. They say that white people say, well, you're always angry. Yes, you are. Hey, it's mad. Man, we're waiting for people dead still. Like, even when some man were asking that, like, even me, they'll be like, like has box? Smiling. Is he alright? Skin and teeth. <laughs> like, yeah, nice. Nah, cool still is getting better. Oh, they'll be like, don't you see lie. what you see? Yeah, they'll be like, don't lie. lie. <laughs> it's alright, yeah? Alright, see Brother, you. Well, even that can't lick him down. <laughs> Spread up. Nah, trust me, man. The but, but, situation like this revealed the truth and, always. And, you know, it's right now, I'm not even going to lie. This is the hardest time in my life, bruv. No money's not making, got bills to pay, still got kids. Like, this is, the, I'm telling you, man's, man's had hard times before, but I can get up and go and go and do and rear it. Yeah. I can't do that right now. 100. You get me? I can't. I'm waiting on certain things. I just got to sit around and wait. And 
it's a madness. I can't even stand up in my kitchen for too long. I get a bit dizzy. I might fall over like how I did in the bath. It's, it's all mad, man. But I'm here mm. fighting the fight, pushing the struggle. And I just want everybody to learn from man's thing. I just want, seriously, all my people, not even all my people, I should just say everybody. If you get to watch this, one thing that you can take out of this is don't take your health for granted. Look after yourself. I'm not saying be perfect. I'm not saying I'm not saying don't indulge or have fun. We all have to do it, but you also you got a balance. What I learned is everything's about a balance. If you if you if you go IB for for fucking a week, and you're drinking every day for a week, come back and go to the gym for two weeks and eat healthy straight. Or drink water. Or drink water. Mm. Do you know what I come to realize though? Yeah, you see in life, right? Mm -hmm. you see the worst. You see the worst position that you're in could lead you into the same place. You could have the same des end destination when the worst position that you're in and the best position that you're in. Do you know they can lead you to the same, depending on the person. Like, you see, when you're saying about balance, balance is very, very important. It's quite because okay. you see, if you have nothing, that can turn you to be doing the worst to yourself, whether it be mm -hmm. drinking, smoking, mm -hmm. um, eating mm -hmm. yourself to death, whatever it mm -hmm. does. Now, you see, if you have everything, and you mm -hmm. still don't have the balance. You will still be doing Indulging all those same things, them same but things, ten times worse. But ten times even worse because you got the money. And too. this is where exactly it's, it's that man. You just balance. got. You got to learn. Uh, like man was in like, man was in hospital on like a man was a cripple having epiphanies in the bed in the hospital, and I, and it sounds so cliche to say it, but man's like raw. Man's got man's man's got a calling in it. Come, man's man's still here. Man's gonna get through this. A hundred. Like man's gonna get through this. Like I know I'm gonna get through this. But as as I said, this is the hardest time. But hard times hard times build character. You don't get character in good times. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying. So me going through my, me going through this little hardship or whatever, whether it's gonna be six months or twelve months or two years, I'm gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, I'm I'm gonna get through it. You get me? Mm -hmm. And it. It's character building. I know how to move, but if you ain't got to go through it to get there, don't. Do don't. Definitely. Because I don't recommend this. Like, even even the other day, I did something. I did, me like a cunt, I came out, I came out and went, um, went black coffee. Everybody saw me at black coffee. No one ever said nothing to me. I heard everybody was whispering behind my back. Everybody was whispering behind my back. What's this brother doing here? What's this brother doing here? But people don't understand. I, I turn up and see you. People don't understand. I say, people don't understand. Man's dying to get back to normal. Hundred percent. Like I'm saying to everybody, the first thing that I wanted when I was when I was when I went, when I was in a crippled position was to be normal. Was to be normal in it. So man's man is literally trying to be normal, trying to do normal things, thinking that yeah I'm ready. I think remember. I thought I was ready. I, I honestly, in my head, I said to myself, yeah, man, I got this. It's, it's on the ends. First black coffee. Beckenham Place Park, round the corner from my yard. Man's got this, man. If anything goes on, I just go home. Mm. Blood. That was a madness. Mm. I was, that was mad for me. What you say, felt it next day? Blood. It was, you see the next day? Mm. I couldn't, I couldn't lift up my body. I couldn't. I ended up back in hospital. I ended up back in hospital. What you say? Black coffee was so sick it put man back in hospital. It was nothing to do with that, you <laughs> dickhead. Yeah, what are you thinking of? I know. You remember my guy to the bar and he said, yeah, get Bugs water. <laughs> I see Bugs. Bugs are that. Yeah, Bugs was moving nuts and all the water the other day. Yeah, but that's what I'm on now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm on this water thing, isn't it? I'm on this water thing. Like, but yeah, like, black coffee, went black coffee. The day after, I woke up. Woke up and I just couldn't, I didn't have the strength to lift up my body. Mm. Like I literally, I literally like, you know, like t to even put my hand down and push my, I didn't have You've the strength. you done too much. I'd done too much. Way too Ended much, up back yeah. in hospital. Mm. Went back to the hospital. They checked me over, told me things, said, nah, you need to relax. They said, no more black coffee. No more black coffee. Yeah. But true, I, I related because we both had one hand. And... <laughs> 
I felt I felt a connection with him. Oh. Me and him was both raving with one hand. He does it. Why can't I? <laughs> Hey, a bottle of water. And my bottle of water. Not even yeah. bottle, it was canned water. <laughs> yeah, it was canned water. It was canned water. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Fuck it was, you, it was canned man. water. Yeah, it's mad, man. But it's good to see you back, man. Good to have you back. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, man. It's... Trust me, and I bet it's good to be back. As, as good as you Trust can me, be. Man. Trust me, man. Enjoy your life, but balance. I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep banging on about balance, man. Balance is key in everything. In everything. The, the, in everything you do, you have to have balance. If you're going to be a bad man, you've got to be a good man somewhere. Mm. You get what I'm saying? If you're going to be a druggie, you've got to be a healthy somewhere. Mm. Whatever you're doing, there has to be a balance to it. Or you're going too much. You're indulging to one thing too much. It's going to fuck you up. Mm, 100. Sorry for my language, but it's just going to mess you up. And nobody, I don't want, I don't want, I don't even care if I don't know you. I don't want you to go through what I've just been through. Mm. You get it? 100. It's, it's that real. Like, I I don't... Because, bro, I'll be honest with you. Man made me cry. Like, when man... Certain man, they heard what happened to me. Then they phoned me and I've answered my phone and I can't speak properly. Man have started crying on the phone. I've started... I've, man's made me cry. I've never... Like, I wasn't crying. My girl never seen me cry. My mum... No one ever seen me cry until I phoned one of them and them. And he just said, what the fuck? And started bawling. <laughs> and I started bawling like, oh, shit. This is real. Like, oh shit, oh yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, shit, yeah, this yeah, is real. You get what I'm saying? Like, so, it's, it's, it's real, man. It's real. It's, trust me. You tell your pussy when friend oh. stop calling your phone that ball. And <laughs> <laughs> stop calling your phone that ball. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Big and serious, though. Nah, I, I fully get it, bro, man. Uh, a man I was, get it, it's, man. It's, it was hard for man to blood. come and see you, like, I don't do well in these situations, you know, like I can, I, I can do well in a lot of situations, but you see in certain situations where you can't do nothing about it, you're like, you just become speechless. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm just looking at man like, what's Like, how was it for you? Yeah, how was it for you? Look, how was it for you? Look, it was, it was horrible, seeing... man. It was horrible, bro. It was horrible. And it just, as you said, like, it was, it was all good a couple of days ago. Like, how, how has this even happened? Sick horrible stuff and even when it first happened the chances that man thought you was going to come back around were very slim don't get it twisted because there's not a lot of people not everyone goes even when we, we thought it was a stroke right yeah so not everyone has strokes and just pulls out of strokes do you yeah, get what i'm trying yeah, to say yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah and that was they kept that going for a while we we all thought it was a stroke because even when the news got out to people everyone automatically thought it was a stroke. It was a stroke. Even when things were, were, when it was verified that it weren't a stroke, there was people that, obviously, they didn't know about that. So they still thought it was a stroke. You get me? But yeah, man, no, it was a horrible situation, man. But I'm just, as I said, I'm glad, man, I threw this. And yeah, it's just, yeah. Whatever you can do to try and save your health, you do. I had a, I had a conversation on it, the discussion. I was just blabbering on. I was telling them, man, your health, like, well, well, for your health. But I'm saying, bro, I'm a hypocrite, car. When I leave from here, I'm going fucking shudo to go and have a drink. Do you understand? So there's only so much man can tell these people, you understand? Yeah, you get me. So they needed you to come in and make them know what I go on with, boy. It's a madness. But yeah, man. So what go on differently than that, though, man? Blood, just out here fighting. What's been fight? any of your highlights? So you've had no highlights. What what's been mean? What's been a highlight for you? What do you mean? Highlight of what? Like anything, sports. Blood, I'll be honest this, with you. Anything. I'll be honest with you. Mm. You know, black coffee was a highlight for me. Mm -hmm. And it's not even it's not even the black coffee. It's not even the fact that it was black coffee or anything. It was just like that was the first time I went out and I felt I actually felt the love. Yeah, the bad was. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, I hear it that. was good to be. I felt I needed that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. needed to be around everybody and feel some love. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And obviously, it was just the love. I just the vibe was good. The, the location was brilliant. yeah. The love. I just, I just that was. It was a highlight, but I paid for it. I didn't have no balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, mm -hmm. I sh maybe I should have went there for two hours. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I should have come for two hours. I tried to do a lot. I was standing up for ages. It was. I should have come with a chair. I should have come with a deck chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just relax, put it 100%. in the mud and just chill. Yeah, 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 but yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, I'm gonna show you why. Like, 
big up my man. He knows who he is. It's like a man who, a man who, a man who's hated me for say 20 years. I violated him. I did something 20 years ago. And even he said to me, yo, blood, that was a madness. You know, I, this is, this is, this is what lets, this is what lets me know. This is, this is why I can, this is why I know I did wrong. Uh, and, and, and I can say it like wholeheartedly. I've, I, I've done a man wrong. A good, a good many year, many a moon ago, he's never spoken to me. Every time I've seen him, energy's, energy's been the kind of energy that you would expect if you mm-hmm. do somebody wrong. Mm-hmm. And I saw him at Black Coffee and you know the first thing, he said hello. And he said, yeah, blood, I heard what happened to you, man. I, wouldn't, I, I wasn't wishing that on you, you know. And rare, rare, rare. Mm-hmm. You get me? Like... Mm-hmm. That's real talk. That's that, and this is why I say, this is why I this is why I will say, whoever didn't check up on me in that time, you're definitely not my people. And I, I I'm gonna stand firm in that belief. Mm. If you didn't check on me while I was sick, or not even a text. I'm not saying come to the hospital because people showed up at the hospital that I didn't expect to. Big up yourself, Raver. Mm. people showed up at like big raver came to the hospital to see me you get me and I didn't expect that that was the last thing I expected I woke up one day and just saw him there he come to check me big up you get me of course so like it shows you who your people are hard times always show you people are though people are always there when things are good when things are bad not so many innit Mm. that's that's something that you should expect but some people have really revealed themselves some some really good actors, they fucked up their role. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. They couldn't they couldn't act no more. They they I know they thought I was dead. And you know what's funny as well? Some fucked up. If I would have died, mm. some fucked up people would have showed up at my funeral like of they care. Course. They would have been there holding onto my tap like, like blood. Don't worry yourself. Man. Don't cry, I'm my bugs. Just, bugs a soldier. You get me? Just, These times in their in in their in their inside their body, they're dancing around saying, "Puss, you're dead." The body's got a podcast. That man don't deserve to have a podcast. That man's been doing bare fuckery for years and getting away with it. But, he's, but he thinks he can just break through and make, <coughs> and make podcast CV, pod, podcast program with Daniel. <laughs> it's, it's so real though. It's blood. Man, I'm laughing, but it's, it's so, so <laughs> fucking real, man. You have to laugh, man. There's some sick blood. There's some sick people walking through the blue. Mm. Some sick people. <laughs> So I'm sick of to the blue. So, the blue's got the sick <laughs> there, they got the sick sickest. Head. I love it though. I'm mm. not gonna I love the blue and I wouldn't change it for a thing. I love you, mm. though, man. Cause you look no, you look rolled with me. You get me big up your blood clot self. You look like trust me, you look really rolled community, with me, man. Com- community the community. No, nah, the community together, blood. You get me? I feel like I I, I feel important. Mm. I rate they that. made me feel important. You get what I'm saying? Mm. They made me feel like I mean something to my community. I rate that. Like big and serious, you get me. Like it's mad, man. Whether and like it's even like even with the podcast, it's something so little, but it means something to certain mm, people. Andrew. Man's podcast, like I'm seeing people, man, are telling me raw bugs. You just got to get healthy and get yeah, back on. Get back to work. Mm, you get me. That's what people are, man. Like it means. Trust me, words are mightier than the sword. You mm. get what I'm saying, because. It's words that gave me strength. It was words that made me feel like I could do it. Made me feel like I was fighting a good fight. Cause there was there was there was a time there when they gave me that lumbar puncture, and I started feeling the pain in my back. I wanted to quit. Uh. Blood. I'm telling you. You see. You see. For the next three days after that lumbar puncture, uh. blood. I wanted to give up. The pain was nuts. Uh. The pain was nuts in my spine. Not, not, not. People say you got backache. I had it's spinal. Yeah, yeah. I felt like Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I broke my spine. Yeah, spinal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. get what I'm saying? 100. Yeah, I saw the trauma on your face, blood. The trauma on your face would look like something had happened. 
you, you just wanted to tell someone about that. I just need to tell someone about this. See what you started telling me about it? Man was talking about, <laughs> there was a, the, 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 the water was running down my bum crack and the man next door to you just busting up. Like, he's had, he's he's had, had two, two, he's had two, two or three of them. He's making man next door to me, he's had two or three of them. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, he yeah. just knows what I'm going through. It's mad, man. It's mad, bro. It's mad. You get me? I went through, I went through some shit, man, but, Man's moving, moving forward, yeah. What yeah. do you plan on? What do you plan on? It's not even that place. It's something you can't even work. It's tricky because you, you, they don't even know what's wrong with you. So I was gonna say to you, what's your future plan for yourself? I'm trying to, to try keep, and maintain. I'm trying to keep myself as healthy as I possibly mm-hmm. can. That's that's the main for me now. I got I got kids. I want to be around. I want to see them do things. I want to see them achieve things. So the main aim is to keep myself healthy. And I tell you this, people, drop stress out, man. Drop stress out of your life. It's, it's, it's the hardest. It's hard, to, it's hard to do. But I, like, there's no explanation for what man went through. But I was going through a stressful time. And my brain just popped down. Mm. I don't. Uh, uh, there's no explanation. I'm saying. I'm. I'm saying that's the only thing that was going on in my life at that time. I was stressed out. A few things had gone wrong, and I was stressed. So I'm saying, you see this stress thing. Even I'm. I'm. This sounds bad. If you're married and your woman's stressing you out, drop her out, blood. Left that. Oh. If you're, if you're married and your man's stressing you out, drop him out. Left that. Go oh. find a new man. You don't get no stress. Oh. Find a nerd. You see the stress oh. thing. I, that just I, plays like people say switch. stress is the biggest killer man <laughs> telling you like yeah, even real. even being in a oh, you see that ward that you that that you saw me on where there was bare seven you you're running you hey, run, run the block run. you know you see you see the woman the woman opposite me yeah mm. she had copd now for everybody that smokes these are things what i've learned in it copd is build up of mucus on your chest so you don't need to be doing little things like if you're a smoker you need to be drinking cmos black oil in the oil and all them things so they break the mucus down so that you don't have a build up, build up of them things because I saw what they have to do to that woman every morning blood big long tube down her throat sucking mucus out of her throat fuck off blood <sighs> she's having a madness she can't eat nothing like that fucking hell man. you get what I'm saying mm. so like it's it's there has to be a balance. If you're going to smoke, you can't just smoke, 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 smoke. You've got to try and look after yourself while you're smoking. Do things that you need to do to be to enable yourself self to smoke and be healthy. Because I'm saying, like I'm saying, balance. Blood, I lost the balance the other day. I see you out Thursday, didn't I? Yeah. I had two drinks, you get me? Yeah. But I overbalanced, blood. W- see, when to I what come home, yeah. I was unbalanced. <laughs> See you the next day for work. I was unbalanced. See, that's my problem. You see, liquor, it's not even liquor. You see, rum, yeah? Rum has got a taste to it, yeah, brother? Yeah, Bugs, you listening? Yeah? Go on. Rum's got a taste to it that's like, you can't just have one or two. This is the thing with me. You can give me one or two Hennessy's. I'm all right with that. I can't have one or two Ray's. It's like, ah, oh, it's just a mess, bruv. Yeah? So you see, Ray and nephew, that is my my little issue. Yeah, when it comes to any issue with anything, you get it. Just me. Trust me, man. Like, oh man, I can just balance, man. It's all about the balance, bro. You get me? I got so much opinions and so much things. So much gone on. So much has gone on while I, like, while I was at the game. Life don't stop for no man. Mm. <laughs> So what's your highlight? What's been your highlight though? What since I come out? Mm. I told you, black cost man. Oh yeah. And 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 to be honest with you, just the love that I've been getting from the borough, man. Just mm. to feel like, cause cause man's been a fuckery, you. Man's done fuckery to so much people. Like even like even when I say the black coffee, like my man coming up to me and and saying that to me after so long, us being at each other for so long, like mm. just meant the world to me. You get me? The like proper things, like. That was the touching moment because mm. I don't even know if I could do that because man's stubborn. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So, just means the world, man. I felt I've just felt so much love. That's why I'm not even focused on the people that don't love me. I just don't want them around. Yeah, hundred. I just don't want them around me, innit? I hear that. You get me? 
But yeah, all right, so boom, there you have it. You have it, your explanation from the boy himself. And uh, I'm, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, people, man. We, we, we messed up the flow. Well, not even we. I messed up the flow. This podcast was a bit, it's been a bit stagnetic of for the last, what, how long? Three months? Mm-hmm. Three months, you know? Beginning of August, isn't it? Mm, obviously, I've tried to do a couple yeah, stuff. I know, you, know, you yeah, did, you did you a few and big up yourself. A couple of my mum was picking you up the other day when I bought them. Said, said, you see our brother and dad? He's a real one. Mm. I see him do it by himself. He's just talking to the camera by himself. Yeah, it's hard work. He's a G. Yeah, it's hard work. But yeah, man, you know how the thing go, man. So you got big up Dan when you see him on the road. Because he was holding down the fort while a man was out of commission. Mm, you know the thing, man. You get me? But sitting there talking to a camera. You see some of you vloggers, I don't know how you lot do it, you know? Like... Yeah, but that's what you see. What I'm not gonna lie, we need to do that stuff more. Learn it. But like, you see, just chatting to the camera. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say to the camera? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just chatting to the camera, like, brother. Yeah, it's gotta be paying some bills for you to like for you to transform into someone who just talks to pieces of plastic. <laughs> Yeah, but Bill, I forget. You have to get there. You, have to, yeah, yeah, but you know what? You know what the biggest thing is. Mm. You know what the best thing about. Probably just talking to the camera mm. is you get to show your personality. You see, with our podcast all the time, mm. where we're interviewing people and rare, 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 mm. people don't get to really see us. Uh, like no. even even the fact me and you are very conscious mm. that we're on camera. They're very so we won't do certain things. We don't function. We we won't diss each other. Just, Come man, we'll get upset. But don't oh, see man on camera. Like yeah, man, yeah. man have got issues. Yeah. Man, man need to man need to cut. Yeah, man need to let go all that shit. Yeah, I need to just be on camera and be there. So if you're dissing, yeah, man, we diss that. we diss each other on a normal day anyway. Normal. So it shouldn't be nothing for anybody. To see man diss each other. Definitely. Man will have banter and, Definitely. and certain right, things. So the next pussy or that's out there that thinks he can banter with you the same Yeah, way. then we just beat him up it together. It was happened. Then we just man's beat him gone, up together. Man's gone, um, what's that thing called? Dance all episode. Okay. Big up to the man in that put that on, yeah? In Lorette de Mar. My bridging's calling me unks, car. Out of respect, that's what my bridging does. You get me? Younger okay, than me, okay. boom. You get yeah, me? Okay. Now, boom, now. I'm chilling there, boom. I've got a, a, a white girl, the same age as me, saying, Excuse me, hey, unks. Um, boom, boom, boom. Ray, ray, ray. I've had to, to stop that. Like, what did you just call me? She said, unks. I said, What the fuck's going on? She said, Yeah, I've heard uh, my man call you this. I've had to make her know, Eh, what? You and my man is not the same. Yeah, don't you ever do this again. You got people <laughs> all about, we're on a weekend, you think everyone thinking I'm the uncle to all of the man, them. You're going fucking nuts, bruv. So I've had to pull her in her, put her in her place, you get me? She never done it again. Saying, I didn't mean to do it, but I'm saying, Yeah, you can't do that, man. You can't. <laughs> I would like to pull him up like, yo, be careful where you're saying unks and unks, if you can't. Everyone just want unks. They think I'm your uncle, you fuck, yeah. But yeah, now big up to the man then for that. That oh, was a that was an ill little episode. You're gonna be still. the old pervy uncle at dance. Trust episode. me, brother. That's mad. But to write that one day off, you get me. They looked at you like, yo, this big old man, y'all call it uncle, mad. and he's just what's he doing, y'all? But a dancehall episode, blood, it was it was, was good. It was it was good still. They done very well. I see some funny things out there. I see a gal getting her head, a white gal getting her head held down under the water for like a minute for a wristband, you get me? Or even could have longer than a minute. The man them are holding down her head and she uh, for this wristband. I say, nah, you lot are Desperate over it, get me? Yeah, I cool. But yeah. See, all these little things, man, I can miss out. I know, man, but yeah, next year we'll do it again. Balance, man. balance, balance, balance. But yes, my brother, big up to yourself. It's good to be back, man. Big it's up good to, to be everybody. Back. Big up, love to the blue. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't say it enough, man, I can't. I'm pissed about Black History Month, though, because we never got managed to get to do anything, you get me? And I would have loved to have done something for black history month so but other than that for the rest of the year hopefully we stay consistent as we do and we can come giving you all what you want every week on time eight o'clock bam bam you get i think i think we should change the time to wednesday no man sunday same way no different time on sunday i think i think we should put it out a little earlier Uh, so you can watch it with your sunday meal yeah, what you time? can sit down and all the vibes with us on your Sunday. Yeah, day. yeah, I can hear that still. You know what what time then? Six. Cause it depends because white people eat food at three. They're dinner at three. Four. They have their tea. They tea. 
<laughs> so I think we might yeah, we, we have to for them. No, let's figure it out. We have to come in between five, six o'clock. Yeah. In between five, six o'clock, because most normal people have had their dinner. On Sunday, on Sunday, even black, even, black even black people on Sunday, even black people on Sunday, even black people on Sunday, they have their dinner a little cool earlier. All right, now you see black people on a weekday. What time did you used to have your dinner? Eight going? o'clock, nine o'clock. Eight, nine o'clock was dinner time. Dinner you time. see all my friends, like I used to proper feel out of sync because I used to have like <laughs> white friends that like, one big up my friend William. William I used to think they're William. I used to think William used to eat his dinner at four or five. Yeah, I know. And I'm like, I used oh, to William, think... by the time eight and then, comes, you, and then they get supper. Must be hungry. Then they get their supper. Yeah, they get like uh, uh, biscuits. Mad biscuits bro. and hot chocolates. <laughs> supper. It's not even hot chocolate, and biscuit and milk. Milk. Hot milk. Mad, bro. Supper. Mad. Still. Different life. Different. Different life. We just pull our thing dinner. That dinner. comes That's nine it. o'clock and the place like man, that. Bro, man, uh, black man, people, go to your bed. Black people, <laughs> black people only know breakfast and dinner. Yeah. There's no lunch. Yeah. Man will just grab something in between. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not, there's not a name I for it. I think black people might have created brunch. There's not a name for that. They might have created the no, brunch. No, thing, there's, not, there's not a name for that. Because uh, yeah, no. a black man, you can have, a black man can have his lunch at half eleven. Or you can have it at half two. Yeah, but no, but hear what I'm trying to say to you. The white people have their breakfast, then they have lunch at 12 o'clock on the dot. Mm-hmm. Then they have tea. Yeah. At and like three at four. Three, four is their tea. Yeah, but you know what? It's real. On a health on a health perspective, you're not supposed to eat after seven o'clock. 100. In the evening. 100. Because you, you see, if you check it out, there's 24 hours, in, well, they tell you there's 24 hours in a day. So if you're eating from eight in the morning till... Nine, ten at night. You spend more. You spend more than half of your day eating. Mm. There's more hours that you're giving your body to consume, and you know what your body does. All the blood rushes to your belly because it's working them organs and rare, rare, rare. There's health implications, man. Mm. So, yeah, I know eating late is never healthy. You get me. Still. We got, we got, we got to start pushing this health thing because all I hear people push is mental health. Everybody talks about mental health. Yeah, mental health. This. Mental health, that. But what about physical health? Physical health, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Mental health is important, but if you ain't got a body, it don't matter. (laughs) No, it's just... It does. It It does. It does. Mental health is as as important as physical health. Exactly. Mm, Definitely. But everyone's mental... Everyone just... All everybody pushes. All of these other podcasts and your mental health and rare, rare, rare. What about your physical health? Definitely. Going to the gym and being healthy makes you feel good. That helps your mental health. If your body looks good and you feel healthy, you it helps your mental. Hundred percent. You get what I'm saying. Mm. So I'm I'm an advocate. Of course, I'm an advocate for mental health because I've seen I've seen what mental health does firsthand. There's a couple of men walking around. They just ain't been analyzed. They just ain't been diagnosed. Hundred yeah, percent. You get me. They're still. You get me. But I feel like I feel like equally important. Is your physical? Maybe, maybe that's just by maybe I'm biased because of what I've been through, but that's how I feel. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah. Anyway, all right, bam. Big up yourselves, people. Yeah, man. We might come with some two a week stuff. You know, we might just have to start flooding and because we, we got to catch up. We, we got to play catch up. We we got to start doing more. And you see us. We need you to. We need you to interact. The Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. We got TikToks. We got things going in, man. Follow us, man. Mm. Nah, furthermore, I'm not even begging nobody no follow, man. If you want to fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you don't, you don't. It is I what it is. Guy, like. It is what it is, man. I ain't oh. begging nobody to do nothing. If you don't want to share it, don't share it. 100. Straight up. It's, that's not uh, That's not the angle, man's guy. Man's not begging no one for nothing. I'm begging God for life. I lie. Not begging no man for nothing. I'm begging God for life. I hear me? that still. That's it. I rate that chat there. Oh yeah, now on that note, big up yourself, you lot, and we're out till the next time. You're done, man. Love, love, love. Oh.